Hi kindergartners, it's Mrs. Schulte. We are going to do our very first Kid Picks project here in technology class. What you need to do is look at your screen and find the icon on your desktop that's these little pictures. Find the little green guy and it says shortcut to Kid Picks. When you find that little green guy, you move your mouse so that the arrow is right over the green guy and you're going to click two times on your mouse on the left side very fast. Double click. And it will open a page that looks like this. It doesn't stay that way very long. And the next page will look like this. We're going to click on the page one time. Next thing we do is we click the word go. You don't have to do anything else on this page for us. And it will open something that looks like this. Now, we're going to do some practicing first, and then after we practice, I'll show you what our project is going to be. First thing that you need is down at the bottom, we're going to practice using the tools that have the pencil, the chalk, the crayon, and the um, spray can. If you don't have that down at the bottom, take that little white glove and go up along the left side and click on the pink pencil. When you click on it, it should bring those tools down at the bottom. First of all, we're going to pick what color we want. Do you see as soon as I move that little white glove over to this green blob, some colors come up. And you can move it and pick whatever color you want. I love purple, so I'm going to pick a purple. Now I'm going to go down to the bottom, and I'm looking for the shape that looks like an oval the outline of an oval, not the one that's filled in, but the outline. Click on that, and now you're ready to begin practicing. We're going to practice making circles. When you go up onto the white screen, you have to click down on your mouse and hold your finger down, keep your finger down, and then move your mouse. And when you move it, you'll be making a circle. Now, if you move it to the side, you'll end up making an oval, make an oval going down. You can make a very big oval or circle, or pull it back, move it back, and you can make a small one. Now, this takes some practice, so don't think yours are going to be perfect right away. That's why we're going to do lots of them on this page. You can make some big circles and some very small circles. I want you to fill up the whole page with circles. And some of them won't turn out just right, but that's why we're practicing. I'm going to even change my color because I want to add some blue circles. So it doesn't matter where they go and if you end up running over each other. Oh, look, that might be a sideways Mickey Mouse. You can do whatever you want as long as you're practicing lots and lots of circles. Fill up the whole page with circles. And when you think that you've done a really good job with circles and you know how to make them because we need them for our project, you may bomb the page. Go over on the right-hand side. Do you see that red bomb? If you click on it, everything is going to go crazy colors and disappear. All right, well, our project for today is we're going to make the face of a snowman using circles. So I would like to pick black. No, I think I'll pick gray. And I'm going to make one big circle for my snowman's face. Fill up as much of the page as you can because all we're doing today is making a snowman's face. Now if you get really good at this, you might be able to figure out how to make a whole snowman body. After I make the snowman face, I'm going to click on black because I would like black eyes. I'm going to pull an eye over like this and make another eye like that. Now I'm going to get really tricky and put another circle inside it. If you can't do that, that's okay. And by the way, if you do something that you don't like, you can always go over and click the pink eraser and go up. And if you hold it down, you can erase whatever you made, and you can do it over again. So I'm going to redo that just so that I could show you. All right. Now, for my snowman, 
You could choose just to make a line mouth, but I'm going to try to make some circles that look like Cole to be his mouth. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to go back over and click on orange and make an orange circle for the nose, except guess what? I'm going to pull it down really long. Looks like mine's going to be off to the side a little bit. That's okay. Pull it down really long so that it looks more like a carrot than a circle. If we want to fill in the, the um, shapes on our page, we go up to this thing called the paint bucket. Click on the paint bucket and pick the color that you like. And whatever you click inside of, as long as it's all filled in and there's no opening, it will change that color. I'm going to go back and get some black, change in the black for the eyes, and I'm going to fill in the black for the mouth. Now, don't think this is going to be easy for you because when we first start, things are kind of hard when we're learning. But I would like you to practice the snowman face today. And if you don't like it at first, just bomb it and do it over again. Today is a practice. So have a good time making your very first snowman face.